and rolling here. Uh, critiquers Jeffrey and Paul. And No, this is this is a gimme. I'm, I'm uh, doing this to hear you speak. Go for it. I wanted to. Uh, this is more of an impromptu speech, maybe a little bit extemporaneous. And I wanted to try to convey something that I thought was relevant to the leadership development program. And I had uh, had an opportunity to attend the leadership development program at Harvard about nine years ago, a second leadership program, and it was kind of a life changing experience. I learned a lot of things. And I wanted to share with you one of the issues that uh, that was discussed. We have talked about a management concept of the difference between authority and leadership. I think what every every organization wants, whether it be government or private and entity or even even in our personal lives, we want to uh, to be an environment where we, we can demonstrate leadership, we can develop our leadership. Um, but there's a misconception in management um, in the concept of leadership as opposed to authority. And as I learned this uh, this program, authority uh, Use your authority, you would really good at using your authority, but being an effective authority um, figure does not necessarily make you a good leader. Um, the premise that we learned was that you could be given a supervisorial position, and you could be really good at that position. You could be excellent at production, you could be excellent at policy, you could be very good at managing your staff, but you are operating within the authority that you are given. The parameters, so these are the boundaries that you, are, that you operate as a, as a leader, and you make sure everybody else walk, works within those boundaries and the job gets done. But leadership is something different than just using your authority well. Leadership is inherently uncomfortable. Leadership is something that is challenging and, and, and requires you to think outside your comfort zone because you want to get to the next step. Um, for example, uh, maybe a really good uh, supervisor who understands their authority really well understands why those little pieces of paper that uh, Mary Jane talked about were really important. And they're really good at getting those pieces of paper out and collecting them and creating those weekly reports. But somebody uh, along the line a number of years ago thought exercise good leadership and said, you know, that's not the best way to do things. Let's put this online. Let's come up with a computer system. And everybody would have been spending years and years putting out those little pieces of paper would probably in a panic. So we've always done it this way. If we've always done it this way, it must be the best and preferred way to do it. Um, which is kind of the, uh, I think all of us in government a long time understand that's the, the bureaucratic way of doing things. We're always done this way, always have to be the same. But somebody was a leader and said we have to do it differently. If I knew a better way of doing things to make sure our system is efficient, um, it's innovative, and that we're providing a better public service. So um, in the end, uh, I guess I told this for three to five minutes, so I'll try to, try to, try to be quick, but uh, I think there's a fundamental difference between good use of authority, which is not necessarily bad in an organization, but it's not the same as leadership. And I think one of the things that, that we've been challenged in this department for the last uh, 18 months, I think one of the reasons all of you are here in this class, is because we want you to be stronger leaders, to provide more um, value and efficiency to the, to the, uh, to the organization. And uh, I think we're seeing that in the work product that we're, uh, that we're providing in this uh, class of companies as we stretch to be more than we have been so we can be able to sort of do something.